Hey guys, this is Raghavya from Headphone Zone. So back again today doing another video and today we're looking at the best wireless in-ear earphones specifically that you could use for sports or while you're running or in the gym. And today we have with us three of the most popular and critically acclaimed wireless in-ear headphones. The Beats X from Apple, the Vmoda Forza Metallo Wireless and the RHA MA750 Wireless. And all three of them are extremely popular products between the price bracket of 10 and 15,000 rupees. And we get tons of questions from people asking us about them, about the similarities and the differences. And we thought we'd do this quick video talking about them and helping you choose at the end of this, the best wireless in-ear earphones that you could use in the gym or while on the run. So first up, the Beats X. Now Beats by Dr. Dre itself really doesn't need any introduction at all. And ever since Apple acquired the brand a couple of years back, they've become a lot more recognizable and popular all around the world. So the Beats X is the entry-level wireless earphone offering from Beats by Dr. Dre. And it's essentially made to be used around the Apple iPhone and the iPhone ecosystem. The second product over here with us is the Forza Metallo Wireless from Vmoda. Now, Vmoda is an American-Italian brand that's essentially really known around the world for making some outstanding headphones that are used by DJs and EDM enthusiasts. You'll find 40 of the top 100 professional DJs around the world tend to use Vmoda headphones, and they're critically acclaimed for giving you an absolute stunner sound signature. Now, the Forza Metallo Wireless is Vmoda's attempt to bring its signature sound and style into a pocket-sized product that's essentially wireless, convenient, portable, and easy to use in the gym. The third product with us today is the MA750 Wireless from RHA. Many of you are already very familiar with RHA and over the last few years they've been making all the buzz around and they're essentially very well known for making some outstanding sounding earphones at various price brackets. And they're popularly known as the Aston Martin of headphones because of the signature style that RHA uses with stainless steel. And they're all these products are critically acclaimed for an outstanding sound signature. And the 750 wireless is RHA's attempt to take that signature sound and apply it to a convenient wireless form factor that anybody can use while on the go. I want to start by talking a little bit about the design and the build quality of all three earphones. Now you'll find that this is especially important because if you're going to be using these earphones in the gym or while on the run, you certainly don't want them giving up very easily and you want them nice and durable. So all three earphones are similar in the sense that they use what you call a neckband design. The earphone goes around your neck and then goes into your ear. But there are subtle differences between all three which I think make a big difference to the ergonomics of the way you use it. So the Beats X is almost entirely made out of plastic. And it's got this matte rubber sheathing, which gives it a sporty but not a very durable design. You'll find that the majority of the hardware on the Beats X is actually in the earbud, so it makes them very heavy. And when I had them on and I was running, they kept popping out again and again. And I think this is primarily because of the weight of the earbud. Now, Vmoda has taken a very different design. The majority of the hardware on the Vmoda is actually in the neckband itself, and it's what Vmoda calls the titanium trap lock design. And that's very appropriate because you find that the neckband itself goes around your neck or below your collar, but because of the weight of the thing, it remains stable on your shoulders. The earpiece itself or the earbuds are made out of metal, but they're extremely lightweight. And they go into your ear without any weight whatsoever being pulled down. I think that in terms of ergonomics, this was a big improvement over the Beats X and they remained very stable when I had them on and I ran with them. Now, the RHA is a little bit of a mixed bag between both of them. You'll find the majority of the hardware is in the neckband and that remains quite stable on your neck just like the Vmoda does. The RHA signature design is with the earpieces being made almost entirely of stainless steel. So they're very, very durable, but at the same time, they're heavy. And because of that, RHA has decided to make a small design change which makes a big difference, which is that the earphones don't go directly into your ear, but then go over your ear before finally entering in. So the majority of the weight of the product moves away from the ear itself to the ear lobe. Now I think that that makes a big difference because the earphones are so much more stable on the head as well as around the neck. I would say just in terms of design itself, both the RHA and the V-Moda are leaps and bounds ahead of the Beats X. And I would definitely say that in terms of ergonomics, I was a lot happier running around with the V-Moda and with the RHA. 
Out of the box, the Beats X comes along with four different sizes of ear tips, a removable secure fit wing tip, a pocket sized carrying case, as well as a charging cable. The Vmoda Forza Metallo Wireless, on the other hand, has eight different sizes of ear tips, as well as three different sizes of Active Flex sport fins, which means that getting your secure fit is really easy over here. There's also a charging cable and a really nice 3D carry pouch. Now, this MA750 wireless has three different pairs of silicon tips, but for me, the real highlight are the two double flange ear tips as well as two pairs of comply foam ear tips. Now, these are made from memory foam, so it means that they take the exact shape of the inside of the ear, giving you an almost perfect seal. There's also a charging cable as well as a really nice carry case. Moving on, let's talk about the features and the usability of all three earphones. All three of them have sweat-proof ratings and they all are reasonably water-resistant. You'll find that they've been coated along with this material that makes it very, very easy for you to just dust off the water. And it also means that the earphones don't get spoiled if you're going to be using it in a wet or a sweaty environment, which is perfect if you want to use these in the gym. But there are some differences as well. The biggest one between all three of them for me is battery life. The Beats X has an 8-hour battery life, the Vmoda Forza Metallo Wireless has a 10-hour battery life and the RHA MA750 Wireless has the longest battery life at 12 hours. Now this of course also means that the RHA is the heaviest wireless, the Beats is the lightest. Now, other subtle differences. The Beats X has been essentially designed to be used in the Apple ecosystem. So you'll find that it has the W1 chip, which Apple has been pushing on all its products recently. And it means that when you bring the Beats X in close proximity with the iPhone, it automatically detects the presence of the Beats X and pairs with it almost seamlessly. Now that's a great experience, especially if you're an iPhone user pairing the Beats X the very first time. Both the RHA and the V-Moda will take you an extra couple of seconds when you're pairing it the first time, but then you'll find that when you switch it on, it works pretty seamlessly. The Beats X also has the lightning port. So when you have a charger with you for the iPhone, you'll find that you don't need an extra charger to just charge the Beats X. The Vmoda Forza Metallo Wireless has a micro USB connector. So that's great if you're using a smartphone with a micro USB connector. The RHA MA750 Wireless, on the other hand, uses a USB-C type port. And you'll find that a lot of newer smartphones are also using the same port. Now, of course, all three of them come with their own dedicated cables that you can use as a charger. But then it makes a big difference if you don't want to carry two chargers with you in the gym bag. Also, you'll find that the Beats X and the Vmoda Forza Metallo Wireless feature a really nice quick charge option. So within 15 minutes or so of charge time, you can use both these earphones for over two hours in the gym. And that's absolutely fantastic if you're somebody like me who doesn't remember to charge your earphones overnight. The RHA on the other hand doesn't have the feature, but its extended battery life, I think, make it more than enough for you to use it for several runs at a time before you remember to charge them up. Now let's talk about sound. This is my favorite section and the one that I think that should matter to you the most while choosing your favorite earphones. Now traditionally, a wireless earphone has never sounded as good as its wired counterpart. And that's primarily because when transmitting music over Bluetooth, there's always some amount of compression or loss of resolution. But that's about to change. You'll find that both the RHA MA750 wireless as well as the Vmoda Forza Metallo wireless use the Qualcomm Aptex chip. And what that essentially means is when you're going to be using with a smartphone that has aptex on it, that there's virtually no loss of quality between the file being played on your smartphone and the music being listened to in your ears. And that's a huge advancement because now you can listen to a CD quality file without any loss in resolution. Now, Apple, of course, uses its own W1 chip, but the W1 chip also promises a near lossless transmission of sound. What that means at the end of the day is that all three earphones give you a sound quality resolution that is as good or equal to its wired counterparts. Now, but there are subtle differences in the sound signature between all three earphones, which I think are very, very important. I listen to all three earphones along with my iPhone using Bluetooth, and I listen to a variety of genres and music styles while trying to test them out. With the beat sex, I would say that the bass was clearly the big focus of the sound. It was very, very bass heavy, but I found that the bass was very, very muddy, which is a big disappointment because at this league, you expect that the sound quality of a beat sex should at least be punching above its own weight. Now, 
The Forza Metallo wireless has the distinct V-shaped sound signature that v Moda is very famous for. So there's lots of punch in the bass, but the top-end treble is probably the best of the lot. There's a huge amount of detailing over there, which I think more than makes up for the fact that this is a V-shaped sound that has a lot of emphasis on the bass. You'll find that when you're listening to genres, especially EDM, dance music, Bollywood music, that the V-Moda is clearly the best sounding earphone of the three. It makes the music so much more enjoyable to listen to, especially if you're listening to up-tempo music while on the run. Now, the RJ, on the other hand, has got a very balanced sound signature, which also makes it the, probably the most versatile sounding earphone of the three. I could listen to the RJ for hours with you know, genres ranging from pop to rock to EDM, and you'll find that because it has a balanced sound signature, there isn't so much emphasis on the bass that it overpowers, let's say, the vocals in the mid-range. So depending on the kind of genre that you listen to and how you like your sound signature, I think that you'll find that either the RJ or the Forza Metallo wireless are clearly amongst the better sounding earphones of the three. To wrap this up and come to a conclusion helping you choose which is the perfect in-ear earphone between these three options. And to answer that question, we gotta ask ourselves, what's the most important thing that you need to prioritize while choosing your in-ear earphones? Now, the Beats X has been clearly made for the Apple ecosystem. And as soon as you pull it out of the box, pairing it along with an iPhone is a seamless experience. And if that's something that's important to you, I think you'll find yourself moving towards the Beats X. You'll find that there are two big compromises that you're gonna be making. One is the almost plastic build quality, and the second is its very muddy bass sound signature. Now, the V-Moda Forza Metallo Wireless, I think is the most ergonomic of the three options. It had an almost perfect fit and a great balance between a stable neck and a super lightweight ear bud. Also in terms of sound, I think that the V-Moda sound signature of a decent amount of emphasis on the bass, as well as a huge amount of clarity and resolution in the treble, gives it a real punchy and aggressive sound, which I think if you're listening to EDM, dance, or Bollywood music, that these will probably be the most enjoyable earphone between the three. The RJ has two huge strengths. One is its phenomenal three-year warranty. It's literally built like a tank. And I think that in terms of durability and design, that's clearly the winner out here. Its second strength is its phenomenal 12-hour battery life. For somebody who likes to use these earphones regularly but doesn't like to charge it quite as often, I think that you'll find yourself moving towards its RJ. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of that video and I hope that you found it useful. I hope that the next time that you go out for a run or you hit the gym, that you use one of these three earphones to go along with you. If you've got any questions that you'd like to ask us specifically about these three products, feel free to write it in the comment section below and we'll be sure to respond. If you'd like to talk to us in considerable detail and help you choose one of these three earphones, we'll be happy to do that. Just drop us an email or give us a call and we'll be happy to talk to you about anything that you may want.